Speaking of which, you, you know, Cody's promo on Raw last week, uh, something that caught some headlines on social media was uh, you know, Cody said to Punk, he goes, welcome back. And uh, there was, uh, I think it was Dave Meltzer who said uh, he took that as Cody saying F you to Punk and, uh, you know, uh, kind of taken up for the Young Bucks. So hold up. I, Let's get this. Did, I, I just wanted to see if you guys got that from that promo. <laughs> So, first of all, huh? no, no, we didn't get that from that. So, so I watched it. You're talking about the post scrum, right? When no, Cody, no. When Cody was asked about CM Punk coming in. No, the in ring promo on Raw when Cody Nakamura said, came out after. Yeah. Yeah. But Cody said to Punk, you know, welcome back. And yeah. So, that nor a press scrum or anything I've heard come out of Cody's, Cody Rhodes' mouth. Had even a semblance of fu to to CM Punk. You want to talk about somebody whose business Cody is the epitome of business at all times. Um, sure, he might get emotional about certain things that that that, that are important to him. But you, Eddie, are, I, I would, yeah. look. I like Dave. I like him a lot. I like the the fact that Dave Meltzer I'm speaking on um, yeah. the historian that he is and keeping a lot of uh, wrestlers that a lot of fans maybe wouldn't know today. Uh, if they do their research, you could see it. Um, he's done an amazing job on it, especially when r- these wrestlers have moved on and passed away. Yeah. Right? Um, for that, I'll always be grateful to him for it, right, for doing that. But with that said, how on God's green earth did he get F you out of <laughs> Cody Rhodes' promo on Raw? I, I, I can't even – I'm being dead serious. I, there's nothing in it whatsoever. I don't know why he would say that. And what does it do? It's now just going to circulate even more. That he's being a, a, a mark for the for AEW, being completely on their side for everything, um, and it's just going to continue to spin that wheel now more and more and more because that is not just look at it's not, it's not just, that's not just sharing his opinion. That's that's something that's like so far off the reservation of what yeah. we all watched in that promo. There's yeah. nothing, not a scintilla, not not anything of F- yeah. You out of Cody's mouth or body language or secret code language that apparently Dave Meltzer speaks and then none of, the rest of us don't. Um, <laughs> He's got to get subs was, for the observer, where, you know? Where there was a hidden FU somewhere in there. No, there was not. There was not a hidden FU. If you go back and watch the blinking of his eyes, there's Morse code. <laughs> <laughs> And, and and yeah, the night before, like you brought up, Matt, at the press conference, you know, Cody was all uh, complimentary about Punk. So because he's definitely make more money. He's yeah, about to, Cody's about to make more money. Yeah, and he never got to do that match in AEW. They were both yeah. in the company together, and it never happened. So it's probably that's another pay per view main event right there. Yeah, that's and good. So this this is what I mean by the tribalist tribalist stuff because believe it or not, Cody still friends with the Bucks, still friends with a lot of those guys at AEW, still talks to them. Um, why can't, why can't people do both? Why can't people support both or not like both? Um, they, they, for some reason in today's wrestling world, like that's not allowed or yeah. people think it's rare. It's not all the big guys and girls in both locker rooms are happy as heck because they're all being paid, getting paid yeah. major, major league money. And they have okay. another company now to go to if it doesn't work 